The investigation is over into the cause of a fire that destroyed two businesses in West Union last week. A little more than a week later, we now know that the cause of that fire will remain undetermined. But as CBS 2 News reporter Sadie Hughes shows, the businesses involved have already hit major milestones thanks to a very determined city. While burned from the flames, Unionland Feed and Supply has risen. Tragedy can happen. Things happen to you, you got to deal it with it and move on. This city of 2,500 is their savior. We've had a carpet donated. We've had a desk chair donated. Just everyday use that some I even took for granted that you don't have. Something that's running low in this feed store right now is the grain, but a milestone today, they get their first delivery of grain in the new location. Just outside of town. The local bus barn is housing a fire sale for Mick Jay's embroidery, which sustained heavy smoke and water damage. It smells like you sat around the campfire for a night with some friends, and we can't sell it as new, and so we figure we'll reduce the price and let people have it at a reduced price just to help them out. Even the Top Hat Tavern, destroyed in the fire, is making progress. This building here is a little bit dated, but so am I. With a new home for its flock at the former Long Branch. There's been like people walking around the community here that are my regulars that or like lost sheep, my motto is sort of in my old building, and I think I'll carry that on. It's always been come home to the top hat. Collectively, home, West Union has helped raise them. And that's the whole story of this, that in one week we all three came together and kept going. Risen from the flames. In West Union, Sadie Hughes, CBS 2 News. While in temporary locations now, both Union Land Feeder Supply and the embroidery store are planning to rebuild. The Top Hat Tavern plans to stay in its new location the old Long Branch building.